Marcus, man, good to see you. How are you, bro? Good, good. Thank you. Just finished training. You're a young guy. You've had a great career so far. So what I want to do is kind of take you through your history and just kind of give me a background on things happening. So I've got a few photos to show you. Obviously, <laughs> you're here at a tennis game. You're with, you're with your legendary dad. I just want to talk about what was it like growing up with a footballing legend and did that put a lot of pressure on your shoulders to become the footballer you are today? Mm, not that much because growing up I saw my dad as like my dad and uh, uh, Lillian Turam. Actually, I didn't even know until I think the age of maybe 12, 13 that he was like a, a famous soccer player. But before that, I saw him just as my dad. He came home, uh, see if the homeworks were done. He, he did his <laughs> dad usual uh, uh, job. And then it's growing up that I understood that yeah, he was quite a famous soccer player who did important things for, for football. But before that, I didn't, I didn't realize it. So obviously, like, football runs in your family. Your brother Kefren's also at Nice. I want to know how young did you start kicking ball? Was it, like, two years old? As soon as it was in the cot, like, kicking ball, like... As young as I can remember, because, yeah, obviously, if your dad is a soccer player, well... He's gonna play soccer with you at home. So as young as I can, as I can't remember, yeah, we we always had a, a ball in our in our feet. Now you obviously you became a footballer like your dad, but you didn't follow directly in your dad's footsteps. Obviously, you're more of an attacking flair player. What kind of players inspired you? Were there players that were your dad's teammates, or was it just you watching football and growing a love for yourself? Well, when I when I just like went to trainings with my dad i used to like the 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 players that want to play with you are like the offensive player because like defense player don't want to play anymore when the training is done you know like they don't really enjoy playing with the ball <laughs> so yeah i played with like young 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 players young messi ronaldinho i played with the uh, thierry Henry. And seeing those players, I knew they were like uh, strikers. So that were, that, were, uh, that that is what made me want to play like them. This one was a crazy one for me. Obviously, Buffon is known as being your dad's teammate, but he also played against you. What was it like having that full circle moment and then swapping shirts with him? Yeah, it was an incredible moment. I was I was a bit disappointed not able to score against him. But uh, it was an incredible moment, a very touching moment, because he saw me, mm, like, I don't know, one, maybe two years old, and now he plays against me. But I think that, yeah, after the game, I realized how much of a legend he was for football, because during doing that types of circle, playing with the dad and playing against the son, really proves the longevity he had in football. So, like, your dad didn't give you no tips on how to score against him, though? No. <laughs> no, no, we didn't talk about that. He just told me to enjoy the moment. Beautiful. All right, we're going to move on. Picture three. This one, yeah, is my favorite, one of my favorite celebrations. I want you to talk me through this celebration. How did it come about and what was getting through your head when you did it? So, how it came, I don't, I don't really remember. I don't really remember how it came, but I know that people liked it. And I'm sad that there's no fans anymore, so the celebration like doesn't hit the same way, but yeah. I want to talk about celebrations, because when I see you play, you're, you're a real expressive player, you go past players, you do, do different kinds of celebrations. Is celebrations another way to express yourself on the pitch? Yeah, they are, they are, and I know how can I tell you? I know what games you have to celebrate and what way, you know? Like, See, if I it's like a, you. I like you. You know how to pick your celebrations according to the game. If, if, if you want to celebrate, I'm not saying it's a little game, but if you want to celebrate in Bundesliga Saturday against I don't know who, you know people are not watching that much. But I don't know if you score against Madrid, City, you know, in Champions League night, and the game is everywhere, you know you have to have a real good celebration so like you can go on Instagram later and see your celebration everywhere, you know that. So what you saying, you're a showman, yeah? You like the yeah, showman Yeah, 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 you know, you know when you have to do things. I love that, man, I love that. All right, cool, we're gonna move on, picture four. Right, it's about the gaffer now. So we know Marco, Marco Rose is leaving at the end of the season. Just talk to me about him as a manager and what you've learned from him. He's a really, first of all, as a human being, he's exceptional, really. 
He's a very, very, very good human being, always reliable. You can always talk to him. He's always understanding. And then as a manager, he always wants to win. So regardless the game, regardless the opponents, his only, his only objective is to win. And I think that that's what he brought to Gladbach. Coming here, he really taught me that every game is important and every game you have to go out there and give 100%. Lastly, I just want to talk about big Champions League game coming up. Manchester City. I want to know what your thoughts are on this Manchester City side currently under Pep Guardiola. It's an amazing team to watch, amazing team to to yeah to learn from. I think that probably everyone on the team can score goals. You see the player like like Gundogan. I think he scored seven goals in his last seven games, something like that. They're 15, 15 to zero win. I think the last fifteen games. So yeah, it's a very exciting team, very, very technique, very, very confident team. And I hope that we'll be on the level to, to make the uh, hard difficult for them. Marcus, man, um, thank you so much for your time. Really enjoyed talking to you. Good luck against City and good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you very much.